Welcome to another Business Mind tutorial. Today we are going to show uh, the process of selling an item and taking in a job with a deposit all in the same transaction. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So let us click on customer and search for a customer. Beverly Crusher, she is coming in and she is going to be purchasing something and also submitting a necklace in for repair. So let's go ahead and first get that purchase loaded up. So she is going to be buying this beautiful bracelet. So let's go ahead and add that to the transaction. And she's gonna be taking in a job. So we go ahead and click the take in job button. So we fill in whatever information we may need here. Uh, this is a necklace that needs to be repaired. I'm just gonna replace the clasp. And uh, this is a repair type job. This tracking drop down, you can add to this directly from your job view. Um, right now, we just need to choose repair. Date wanted, if we click that, we get a nice handy calendar. And she's gonna want this back by Wednesday. And the estimated price is gonna be uh, $50. And in fact, she is going to be giving us a $50 prepayment, a deposit that is attached directly to this job. Now, because this deposit is being attached directly to this job, this payment will happen first. So you can see right here, we have a charge 50. When we click this, we get our payment options where we can pay some cash options, do credit card, check, or even the other options, which has a handy dandy drop down menu. In this case, she's just gonna give us a $50 cash deposit, which is going to be placed directly onto this job. So when we choose that, we do get our job printout options. This is the job bag for our records. And of course, her receipt with the job information in it, including the job barcode and so on. And you can see, her deposit that she has made, her prepayment for this job. So when we are done with that, we click the continue button and you will see that customer is still loaded in the screen and the item that we already put on the sale is here ready to go. So now we could process this transaction through. And in this case, we are gonna do this with the credit card terminal. She's gonna go ahead and swipe that card and follow the prompts on the payment terminal. And we get the approve message, and then we can go ahead and get this printout receipt to her. As you can see here, these two processes were split up in the payment. And the reason for that is one payment is being put directly on the job. That was the $50 prepayment. There was a deposit directly on the job and the other payment was for the sale. So that's why those two, uh, the payment processes were split up. But the workflow for the entire process was one continuous loop. There was no reason to research for the customer and add her and start the whole process over. So it, it is, you can combine your workflow in uh, the point of sale. And this works for layaways, jobs, uh, obviously selling items, gift cards, pretty much all the processes you can combine together in one simple workflow without having to restart the entire point of sale from scratch. I hope you all enjoyed this Business Mind tutorial. Uh, please like, subscri subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when we add more of these videos. Have a good one.